Healthy Schools Oklahoma, and today we're going to talk about fire safety. So we're going to discuss Oklahoma State Standard 5.2.1, and that's where you identify a situation where you might need to make a health-related decision. We're also going to discuss Oklahoma State Standard 7.2.2, and that's you being able to demonstrate a behavior that avoid um, or reduce a health risk. So let's discuss fire safety and what to do if you're in the house or in a building and there's a fire. First, let's talk about a smoke detector. Think about where you see these in your house. You should have multiples of them throughout your house. So the purpose of a smoke detector is to alert people if there's smoke in the building or in the house that you are in. They do that by beeping really loud. They're really loud because even if you're asleep and there's smoke in the house, it will detect it and it will beep so it'll wake you up and you can get out safely. They sometimes chirp as well. And if you hear a chirping sound from your smoke detector, that's just telling you that you need to change the batteries in them. You might wanna check them about twice a year to make sure they work properly. That way in an event that they need to detect you that there's smoke in the house, they work properly. So what do you do if a smoke detector goes off? Well, first you wanna get really low to the ground because smoke rises. So if you get low to the ground, there will be less smoke in the area that you're in. Second, you wanna to crawl to the door on the floor, staying low to the ground and crawl to the door. And before you touch the doorknob to get out of the room, you wanna to touch the door to make sure it's not hot. If it's hot, it's telling you that there's a fire on the other side of the door and you're not gonna be able to exit throughout the door and get out safely. So you're gonna to want to um, go out a different way through in that room because there's a fire on the other side of the door. Now, if you touch the door and it's cool, go ahead and open the doorknob and you, can, you should be able to safely get out of your house. If you find yourself to where your clothes or your body have caught fire, remember, stop, drop to the floor, and roll. It's important to roll back and forth several times to get the fire out. You also want to talk to your family about a fire escape plan. This is a plan that you can go through every room of your house, making sure that you have two ways to get out of every room in your house. Most likely the first exit is going to be the door. And then the second one might be a window or maybe another door that gets you into a different room. But you wanna make sure you have two ways out of every room in your house. You also wanna talk about a meeting place, a safe meeting place outside of your house that you know you directly go to whenever you hear the smoke alarm go off. And you wanna make sure everyone in your family knows the same place to go. This might be a street sign on the corner of your street or maybe even the park in your neighborhood. Somewhere that's away from your house but that you all know where it is so you can get there safely and meet and know that you're all there together. Remember, if you do get outside and you get to your meeting place and you realize that there might be someone or something that's missing, even like a pet, it's important not to go back inside because that can really get you hurt and we don't wanna do that. You wanna stay outside and when the fireman or the firewoman arrives, make sure you tell them what it is that you're missing or who you're missing and they can go inside and help find them. Sometimes firemen and firewomen can look a little intimidating and scary at first with all of the stuff that they wear, but that's to protect them when they go inside and fight the fire inside your house or in the building and they wear it to protect themselves but they're there to help you so don't be scared of them make sure you tell them what they need to know remember you want to stop drop and roll whenever you catch fire you also want to check that door to make sure it's cool before you open it and have that fire escape plan that's all for today